Fire up the stream here. Okay, and then let's exit. Oh, did I already? Okay, I couldn't remember if I posted that or not. There we go. Um, okay. Yeah, I was trying out other stuff, and that basically had the effect that I thought it would have, which is fine. That's what I was going for, you know, to some extent. Just getting some free practice in, and then still being able to play with you here while you're on this streak. Okay. Yeah. No, it's all good. My other account's still air rolling. I'm sure we can get it back pretty pretty quick. Um Huh. Wait, is that Okay, no, that's the Okay. Rory fell asleep in the master bedroom. Sandra sent me a pic, probably so I'm not wondering where she is. She's been going to sleep a little bit earlier now, which is which is good. We let her stay up obviously a bit later tonight because the weekend, but she's been going to sleep around like nine or ten, which is good for her. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm almost the opposite. Since I started playing the non-recon stuff, let's see, what am I? This is two, two and two, three and two, one, two, three and two, one, two, three, four, five, three and six. <laughs> on non recon stuff, so Nautilus is one of those champs that I like his kit and when I have a good game on him, like he feels really good. <clears throat> but then just statistically he's like one of the worst engaged champs, you know, I ever play for years. Since like season six. Somehow I just never have a fifty percent win rate with him. Uh Who's worth banning? I don't think Smolder's worth a ban anymore. I don't know about Maokai. Yeah, Briar's still really annoying. Oh. Well, if she's gonna play Misfortune, I'll just ban Blitz. I need to see what's worth banning here. Pike is getting play. He's not played super often. But he's got a high win rate, and historically, I'm not amazing against Pike, but I don't know if he's worth a ban. Blitz is probably the most obnoxious. Just because he roams so much. Um. I don't know what else. What about other roles? I feel like there's not a lot of supports. Jinx. Yeah, maybe it. Maybe a Jinx ban. Oh, they ban Misfortune. Alright, back on the bird, boys. Feels good. Oh, yeah. It's, actually, that might be a one, because she's getting a lot of play in pro. I don't know if people are good on her in solo queue, though. She's kind of hard to play. But she's certainly really annoying. Yeah, she's got a pretty good win rate in solo queue. Because, yeah, she's got the anti-movement. She's got pretty good catch and wave clear. And she rotates really well. So that's anti-fun for engage champs. And they got freaking Jinx. Oof. Well, I think Ash is supposed to be pretty good into Jinx, though. Yeah. I think she's good into immobile AD carries. Like Jinx, but... Um, okay. Let's go with this. It's been a hot minute since I played uh, Con. Are we going to do... I guess Demolisher's fine. Usually give you one or two extra plates. I don't know who has the scale. Like we have Jax. We've got Jax, we've got you. That scale's pretty good. What's up, Yannick? Good to see you, man. How you doing? It's so funny today. I've got... Um, 
it's interesting. I've got this one student that struggles in my class and a lot of other classes. Not because he can't do the material, but he's just demotivated to do a lot of stuff. But he always loves talking with me. I'm sure I've probably got to be one of his favorite professors about stuff. And he really loves video games. And, you know, he'll just talk about all these different aspects of video games. And, um, and then I always kind of have to pretend. Cause he'll just come out and relate whatever we're talking about to video games. And just ask it, like, right in the middle of class, like, out of nowhere. Um, from, like, the back of the room. And so if I'm talking about him, talking about it, I always pretend like, I'm like, oh, I've had a student write about video games before, and they said this and this. I always like play it off like I don't play the video games, but I've heard. <laughs> That's right. I've heard about these things. Um, but. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's just funny where I kind of play that game where I'm like, yeah, I've had students write about this before. It seems interesting. And he was filling up the back wall with a bunch of quotes from like the Doom series about a bunch of different things. And I just let him, let him do it. Um, yeah, he's pretty funny. Today he put up uh, a quote from this author that I know really well. It was interesting. It's like, hell is other people or something like that. Jean-Paul Sartre. But he didn't know who it was. I don't know where he heard the quote. And that's what I figured. But I was like, oh, you got some Sartre up there from No Exit. And he's like, what's that? I'm like, the play that's quoted from. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> it was just funny. I talked to someone else before that really... Like, their screen name online was Cellar Door. Or, like, Cellar Door. And I'm like, oh, are you a big fan of Donnie Darko? Kind of the movie where that phrase was popularized. It was supposed to be in the movie, like, the most beautiful phrase in the English language. According to some famous linguist or something. And she, like, never heard of Donnie Darko. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. I just know it was supposed to be a beautiful phrase. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's probably a boomer movie. That's from, like, 2000. Do it, Jax. Okay. God, hopefully other jungler's not here. I'm going to back it up. Bird boys back together. That's right. Turbo, what's up? That was the same way. I was probably quoting stuff. I had no clue. I probably still do quote things <laughs> without fully understanding the context. But this is funny. I'm glad that people like some of that older stuff, though. All right. Uh, let's see. Jack's got it. Which honestly might be even better than Ash. Jax is, you and Jax are kind of the biggest late game threats, usually. Ash will still be good, even with, with just arrows. She can do stuff later. Mm, I don't think I can pressure her. She's going to back here. Oh, let's stop the back. That's pretty massive. I think Sona's going to rotate on you, but she is missing. <laughs> yeah, that stopped back is going to cost her at least probably six or seven minions. That's pretty big. <clears throat> is 
Sona going up for grubs or something? Rotate top. Can we get? Yeah, she's on grubs. Jace missed the memo. Yeah, they're all collapsing on you. They're gonna try to. You can stall them so they don't come down and contest dragon. You I don't, probably can't, but... Yeah. I think we can get it in time and Jax can get out. Yeah, I don't think we want to fight it. <clears throat> I mean, it's going to be warded. And Lee's on this side. I guess I didn't have to be sassy about it. I could have said he, she was on grubs or she was rotating the grubs. But it's like my student asking when when this paper's due, and it's like literally on the board. <laughs> I've had that before. I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, I was on my phone. Dude, some girl left a Louis Vuitton wallet just randomly sitting in a uh, in a seat near. I didn't see it. I just saw the little wallet in it. With like, ended up. I didn't count it all, but like decent amount of cash, credit cards, like all this stuff in it. But fortunately, I found her. I sat around and waited because I had an hour and a half between classes, and I sit there anyways usually and just eat something and write emails. She never showed up, but fortunately I was able to find her email address and um, get in contact with her and get it back to her. Okay, nice. And she was so happy. She's like, oh my god, thank you so much. Like, I was so worried about this. Okay. So I don't know how much I I think Louis Vuitton's expensive, but I I don't know. It's very expensive. <laughs> so yeah, so she was definitely really hype about getting that back. Um, I haven't getting on her car. Am I just getting the movement speed thing, or just lock it? We'll just do this. It's in both items. It'll be fine. I haven't even looked at Meta Recon items the last few days. So they don't have that much burst. Um, guess they've got Talia. Another offensive item, maybe. Because they're both immobile down here. Maybe this is like a Zeke's game. We could use a little bit more damage with Ash to complete the kills. Uh, Sona might be coming up. She's probably not that threatening, but if she shows up with Lee... Probably get some deeper wards here if we push this in. Okay. Grubs is in 15. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Okay. I think we're good. I'm coming at you. Oh shit. TP. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna go. Kazik. It's uh. It's gonna be tough. We need to contest these grubs, probably. Cause they're gonna get the worms if we don't. Maybe we get one of these guys on the back end if they take shots. Oh, yeah. Oh, execute. Fuck. I, mean, I think I misclicked my ignite. I don't know if it would have killed him, though, with Sona there, but... Would have come there faster and would have been cleaner, but I guess it's something. Alright. So now they get a shitload of worms. Yeah, let's push this real quick and rotate down. Okay. I'm gonna try Blood Song. I think it got nerfed on this patch here. I don't know if it was nerfed on this patch or it's gonna be nerfed on the next one, but everything's kind of been nerfed. <clears throat> a little more damage to kill the Olaf is probably a good idea. <clears throat> okay. I mean, I don't have ult, but I don't know where Sona. Oh, Sona's top. Just really doesn't know how to play weak side. I don't know if we're gonna have the damage to kill her under tower. Maybe. Oh, Lee's there. Okay. Jinx building. She going to Hurricane first. Is Lee gonna cover this dive or not? Lee is. Uh, no. Good. All right, I'm 
this back map. Oh, those were Kraken components. I didn't realize that. Okay. Top's just a black hole. Don't play NA in, or Jason NA, guys. Okay, I mean, we've got the dragon stacking going on. A lot of grubs is not great. Try a ram or something. Oh my god, need the Sona fucking healing or something. She shouldn't even have Moonstone. Wow, I thought Jax is gonna delete them all. Nice. Hmm. Guess I sequenced that wrong. Look, there's gotta be some way I could have played that where we would have killed a lot of people. low yeah oh my god fucking dude is here oh god Just go lock it here. I gotta remember to weave in autos of my abilities to get the blitz on damage. Maybe I should just be going the little double bubble thing. that ash build <clears throat> Olaf's a problem um maybe I'll just get uh, Grievous I'll just get Grievous next for a while Dude, that Sona fucking healing or shielding or whatever is just seems so brutal. There we go. Nice. Yeah, let's get Baron. Someone's 
Okay. I'm not gonna be able to mash this dude. Yeah. I don't think he can get base. I mean, Jax is gonna run him off. Yeah, let's see if we can... Yeah, maybe we can do it with Jace if they don't, like, immediately check it. <clears throat> Fuck, run, run, run. Fuck, am I, I'm just dead. Yeah. I think we needed Ash to stay. If I, I don't know. If Ash stayed, we probably could have gotten it. It was going to be close. Especially, I wasn't thinking of Talia sliding in. Okay, I'm going to get... Yeah, Lee's got healing, too. I'm just going to get Grievous. Oof. Jax's bottom, randomly. God, all right, I gotta start pinging. Hey, jungler, you gotta be bear inside when Baron's up. Anybody's gotta give. Bronze macro 101. Maybe we can jump them if they try to come over here. Just keep him from getting base towers. He's coming, you guys. Hold off. Okay. Uh. Let's third drag. Jason, I can hold base. I was about to say, Jace, do not take that warp, please, for the love of God. I'd be surprised if he did. <laughs> Let's let him push this in. It's fine. I got all those fucking grubs because we didn't contest that. Properly. These idiots took our inhibitors. And we get all the farm. I mean, we should have a couple of them back by the time Baron comes back up. But... Um, yeah, we're just trying to get Knight's Vow here. I think that Grievous just blocked like 800 healing on Olaf, so that was good. <laughs> Claw's doing a little bit here, but the other thing's probably better. Words, it, I wish it would show you blues and pinks in the bushes. I always complain about that, but.
I think it's bottom. I don't have flash or anything. This guy just loves taking those cues, just like any Jax. So hopefully you have a couple people there to punish him for it, but. Just gonna try to walk it in. <clears throat> God, I can all off. Yeah, I feel like we could have won that. It was just obviously hard to carry the top. But... The Ash was doing okay, but it's just like... You know, a little more damage would have been nice, too. I mean, she did more than the Jinx, but it's just like that Olaf... Was just a problem but if we contested the voids better like if we managed the voids and they didn't have those voids to get the towers we probably could have won that <coughs> what is this princess peach showtime 60 bucks whatever it is for like a looks like a kids game so like, I don't know, kids games are cool, like, on Switch, but, I mean, I guess it depends on how old the kid is. But, like, you can get stuff, like, apps for free, you know, on an iPad, or, like, very cheap, like, $3 or less. Rory's got this one, it's got, like, microtransactions sort of in it, or, like, basically, like, not microtransactions, but, like, DLCs you could buy. Um... Oh, nice. Is this your new deck? Uh, no. Oh, yes. But I don't have it yet, but I will. Oh, okay. Nice. Corvald. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Corvald was looking, was looking pretty cool. Minx and Boo. Yeah. Yeah, it seems he's like played in Legacy. So it seems pretty pretty beast. Um let's ban Blitz again. I'm trying to think of like what went wrong in that game. I feel like we had lots of opportunities to kill him. I mean obviously the Jace just not weak siding. I feel like I just needed to direct stuff a little bit more. Like, hey, Jay, Sona's going to be top for Grubs. Back up, or Ward. Or just like, hey, Jax, don't be bottom. Baron's up. I was trying to do the Baron when Ash backed. Like, we should have been more decisive with that. And it's been like, Jax will stop Olaf. Baron, 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 Baron. And just like ping it like five times. And Ash comes over there, and we get there like five seconds faster. And we probably get it. But because we everyone was like fucking around and wasn't sure what to do for that five seconds, then you know we got pushed off a of bear, and when it was at like five k HP, or don't do it at all if it seems too risky. But I think that kind of halfway the halfway decisions are usually the worst ones. It's like you either need to all commit to something, or just like don't do it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just Recon. That's a lot of AD over there. Top lane Kench. Well, if he just doesn't feed, that'll be an improvement. 
We got Silas Top. Is that what that is? Probably. <clears throat> Seems kind of weird. Silas with a Tom Kinchel probably looks kind of weird, but could be good. Tom Kinch is such like a cool concept for a champ. It's just that his um, his numbers just aren't right. Yeah, just scaling health, demo. Even if you're against double range, I feel like demo on Rakan, especially at like lower elo brackets, can still be a good thing because you get plates just off of bad back timings on the enemy. Like last time, we got one or two plates, even against double range, and a lot of it was I just stopped Chinks from backing. Um, and that was so massive that that like cost her like eight seconds because she didn't back in a bush. And then that let us push in, get a tower, deny an extra wave to her. So that was like a you know two hundred plus gold swing, and then we had priority to go get the first dragon after we pushed the next wave in. The problem was, they got grubs and killed Jace on the other side of the map. In a separate incident, but... <clears throat> I think he's got TP. It could be Zed, though. I mean, the good news is it doesn't matter as much as it used to, because you don't have to pick armor or MR runes. Okay. Does it say that when I mute everybody or not? What it says... No, I don't somebody, know. Muted, somebody muted themselves. Okay. It won't be a little message in chat. Okay. I think, yeah, I think when I mute everybody else, it doesn't mute me, though. I think. Can you still see my messages if I mute everybody? Do you even know if I mute everybody? No, I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't remember if there's a space in all or not. I'm pretty... Yeah, there's a space. Which I should honestly do that almost every game. Because they can still hear you unless they mute you, I think. Yeah. You just can't hear them sass you back. No, well, it is... Zed top. That's odd, but okay. With Ignite. Yeah, it's so th really, really, really weird. So they only have two... AD champs on their team. Okay, so they have like all AD except for Silas. So if Silas doesn't pop off. Um, Try not make that happen. Yeah. Then you got like Steel Caps. Frozen Heart. I mean, they've nerfed Frozen Heart. I think it's still probably pretty good. That's as annoying as fuck, man. Her little speed boost. Obnoxious. I should have warded top crab. <clears throat> I guess try is okay too, but he's also likely just to come down river. Shit, I thought I. God. Oh, I don't have E. Oh my god. No, she's dead though, right? Oh my god. Wow, they were three because we walked over there to ward. They hit three. I guess I should have... I should have just flashed immediately. For some reason I thought I was three and I had my jump, but I was like one minion away.
Hey, what's up, butter? Damn, that was unfortunate. Yeah, that was totally my fault. And they're so far out of position so often, too, like that Ash. I mean, that should let us get back in the game, though. But they do obviously have an item head start here. I don't know if we have a lead. Okay, Volley's working top. Nice. So I got her flash. That's good. Is Lee Lee's probably bottom. Where the f is Lee? Okay, she's almost got her barrier back, Jinx. I don't think they haven't warded river, I'm pretty sure. They're just like hard disrespecting because they know volley's top side. Okay. You have six? Okay, yeah. They don't they don't have anything. Wasn't able to ignite him. You guys have him though. Hope that was worth Lee. You got the support with your flash. <laughs> um I would just leave it. Jinx is coming. He's TP up. If you need to, or just walk up. And TP back down in a second, kill him again. I got a big wave. Hmm. Maybe should have just gone for drag there, but. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know where Lee was. I have to respawn. Please give me a fucking jump. has no clue how to I, I mean maybe she dies if she gives me that jump but I think we're able to get out can you contest that I'm coming down you probably just scare him off of it I'm close Nice. 
Well, at least you got the Lee. <laughs> I got that. And the Ash did. How far are we down? We're not that far down on CS, but... Man, I'm like misclicking a lot that night. I don't know. I'm having like senior moments tonight. Lee seems like super squishy. I don't know if we're going to kill him. No, God, they just deleted him. I guess ignite. God, what a disaster! Did Vo okay, I guess Volley didn't have his ult. If he just came around to red and jumped Lee with me, like we had vision, we knew he was there. Or if he just stood next to the pit. Um, I don't have that much healing. If he just stood next to the pit and gave me a jump with the E, I could have at least maybe scared him off. Um, I think the nerfs, I haven't seen Smolder yet since the nerfs, but probably, probably enough to take him out. Oh my god, we're just getting railed everywhere. Died so many times. Multiple times off of dumb stuff I should not have died to. I, have the only kills on team. I know. That's brutal, but at least, like, if someone's gonna get the kills, at least it's you. No fucking way, right? How? Jinx is like fucking healing him. Just push this, bro. Silas got my ult. Fuck, Silas is super fed now, too. It's rough. I got TP and I have everything. The only way to live. Should get up and low. Yeah. I'll probably just give it up. Just give. Making mistakes, not adjusting <laughs> to, the, to the ELO, like the thing that always happens, where it's like, well, I try to force something that you could do, maybe an Emerald and High Plats you can't do here. You just don't have the coordination. It's like you'll have more opportunities, but you also have more um, opportunities to get quote unquote baited too.
Oh shit. Well, I didn't mean to get that kill on him, but I wasn't sure if I think she had flash. They're gonna kill him, aren't they? Yep. Jesus. Basically got 1v3 by the Lee there with subpar play and he gets baited into us just because the numbers are just so strong right now. How many souls do I have? 59, okay. Whoa, what the fuck? How did I get, did I get rooted? Oh, I got rooted too. I don't know. <clears throat> I got rooted and flipped. I think we can stall him long enough to get you here. Okay, and Senna wasted her ult. I mean, they're giving us so many chances. We can definitely get back in this game. If I just start respecting them, respecting their gold. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, we can run him down, I think, up here. some of these kills though, it's just not great. Nah, yeah, I don't know. They might be able to 2v3 us. They're sad. Yeah, this Lee is just too strong right now. Looking super squishy to looking <laughs> almost unkillable. Well, he's actually healing quite a bit. I guess I'll get heal cut. <clears throat> Senna also heals a little bit. getting these kills. Damn, I feel like Tom was ghosting forever. I 
know if I can live if I find said. Get some wards on the map. I gotta get this heel cut and then I guess we'll start getting Val. Sure, Volley? We're kind of outnumbered, bro. God. I didn't even notice the leaf flank. God, disaster. We should just let that go. Like, you were down. Like, best case scenario is going to be a 3v3 over there, or a 4v3. With two of our people top. <clears throat> See, this Lee takes so many stupid ass cues, <laughs> we just don't have the damage to punish him yet. He definitely has the Lee Syndrome. But he's just got the pocketbook to get away with it right now. Oh, they didn't even get dragon. Wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean they're they're playing so bad. So badly. But this is definitely winnable. If we just clean it up a little bit. We being mostly me. I'm pissed at myself for playing like dog shit this game. No way he gets away with that dumb shit. We can't kill him. I don't know. Maybe Zed. Okay. Well, we at least got something out of it. Nah, I don't, I don't know if we should mess with that. So dumb. We have no vision. Take the win. <clears throat> it's not reducing that much healing yet. <clears throat> How much has his stuff healed? Yeah, it's healed for a shitload. I just haven't applied it to him. Winning in 2024. Well, Jason's been winning a lot until uh, he started playing with me in the last couple of games. He's, he was kind of getting his groove back. Jinx's bottom. Our comp's just so low damage because of the Tom. It'd be nice if Tom, you know, I haven't seen his positioning, but if he saved you, if they try to dive you with his ult instead of eating the enemy. <laughs> yeah. She's still ghosting. That thing lasts so long. I 
I'm gonna try to Baron. Who's? Yeah, I don't have the health bar. <clears throat> I don't know if we can contest this. I know, but th there are tanks that do damage. You know what I mean? Like Cassante. I think does way more damage than like Kench does. I feel like there are several tanks. I don't know. If he actually, like, I think the benefit of Tom Kench is being able to protect a carry late in the game better than almost anybody with the ult. But he's not using it that way. He's using it for mediocre damage. Senna's just so freaking disrespectful. Does she have wards? No. She's just chasing me halfway through our jungle with no vision. Senna, Infinity Edge, second. That just, there's no way that's right, right? I mean, I guess Infinity Edge did get buffed, but... Volibear also is pretty, pretty worthless. Or at least it certainly feels that way. Feels like they just kite the shit out of us and we just do no damage. Jinx finally has a couple of items, so that helps, but... <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to give up that tier two. Assists on that. We triple in here, here. Man. Nice. Okay. Well, that's what we need. Let's just inhib down. Finally punished the Lee for going in on a Q and Zed. <coughs> Got the ace, but now we need that. Um, yeah. Yeah, you have TP. Guess just push that out as far as you can. We can't give him soul. Okay. Yeah, as soon as I get close enough. Then we gotta fight before the lanes get up. I'll try to zone as well as I can, but yeah, we don't have the damage dealers here. Zed's not here. Yeah, we just don't have either carry <clears throat> I guess we're just supposed to get it because we didn't have your jinx we'd have to all be there like right when it spawned and then just hope we get back to deal with the minions but yeah just the hextech drags just so OP that soul but I don't know. Maybe we should just risk it, giving it to him. Oh my god, the fucking heal.
Ten years later, Tom kills one of them. Damn. Uh. Yeah, you played decently. I played okay in the first one. That that one, I was pretty bad in that one. But, yeah, if you keep playing, we'll play in the way you're playing. We'll definitely move it up. It's just the comp and the play jungle and top was rough, and then I didn't play nearly well enough to help you and Jinx. Jinx is kind of having a hard time, too. You were really the only one, I think, that had a good, <laughs> good game that time. But this is it. I can feel it. We'll get it together. Um, with the sup item quest gold change, sup econ is even worse now. Yes. And so... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and that's why I think that the champs that have to buy like the 3,000 gold type of items are going to be worse. So that's most carry supports in the bot lane with the exception of Pike, who's stronger because he can kind of get his own gold off of ults, so it doesn't affect him percentage-wise as much. Um, and then Zyra and Brand, because they really don't require a lot of items. They just do a lot of damage baseline, because Brand has the percentage health, and then Zyra has the plants, whose damage is mostly based on, like, levels. So, <clears throat> so th those three are still, like, pretty good carries, but, like, your Lux... Lux support, Ash support, Zerath support, you know, all of these like high pressure early lanes that need items that don't have high base damage. And ch yeah, are Enchanters nerfed off of that? I'm not really sure. Um, it depends on the Enchanter because they like some Enchanters get bullied early game by those champs, and some Enchanters can be bullies early game. Um, so the stuff that gets bullied by that those things, like Janna early on, is going to be stronger because they scale to later. So I, my thought was Enchanters would be stronger off of that. Um, also, the fact that not only Enchanter Gold, but early item like checkpoints, the legendary items got nerfed. So stuff like Fiendish Codex lost 10 AP on it, which is a big item for... Oh, next patch... Where do we know about that? Spider Axe or whatever his name is. I wish that site that... I don't know. I wish they just had a dedicated site where they just showed the changes, upcoming changes. <clears throat> okay. Um, let me see the Spider Axe thing. Oh, hell yeah. Join 22 for the X amount of time. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> yeah. Not times 10, plus 10. Plus 10, yeah. Times 10, man. That'll be a that'll be a future right there. Shit, yeah. Let's not. Times fast. Let's not make it that fast. I'm turning 220 in a week. That's some biblical numbers. Um, let's see here. Uh, Overwatch 2. <clears throat> I don't know. Is that even... I guess people still play it. Feels like so many big companies or just big franchises are dropping the ball. I feel like Riot's done a really good job of not really, like, ever fucking things up that bad. You know, that badly. Like, there's a couple of balance outliers every now and then. There's a couple of unpopular things every now and then. But I feel like it's not nearly on the level of most other major games falling off. Which is pretty nuts that it's still, like, as relevant as it is 14 years later. It's just a testament to how well they keep it fresh over time with their consistent balance changes. They realize that, you know, you shouldn't really shoot for perfect balance that's not going to happen. You just shoot for stuff that occasionally shakes up the meta a little bit, makes champs and builds fresh and interesting, always gives you stuff to explore a little bit. 
perfect balance is something like checkers or chess, which is its own thing, and that's cool. But I think just having constant intrigue and constant discovery frequently with balance changing is good. I remember like in StarCraft, and I love playing the OG StarCraft, but it was like, a very similar meta and they didn't add any new units or balance anything like change the stats on different units or anything for like years like five six seven years league making legends of runeterra i heard they kind of messed up their mmo i saw that they were just like delaying it like, they've been working on it for four years, and they're basically hard restarting. And they brought in a guy from, like, EA, and someone who was, like, I, I don't know, just a super corporate guy. Do what? It's like EA Sports in the game. Yeah. People don't want a lot of that stuff in the Riot game. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would just... I mean, MMOs are so hard. Like, just look at... It's got to be one of the most failed, like, types of game ever. And they're so expensive to create. It's like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy fourteen are, like, the only two that I would say make it and are profitable and have been, like, reasonable to play and have a pretty large following, you know, for a long period of time. Like, WoW's still falling off really hard from its peak at, like, 12 million down to whatever it is currently. Two or three million, maybe. But that's still really good for an MMO. You compare that to, like, League of Legends, where you've got, like, 100 million players globally. Um, I mean, it's just, like, peanuts. So if you're a game developer, it feels like the easiest thing to develop and get a lot of money on is... Probably just, like, first-person shooters, honestly. Because, like, there are so many different first-person shooters that come out that people will play, you know, every couple of years, right? But, like, MOBAs are actually pretty difficult, too. A lot of MOBAs have failed. I mean, League is the only one that's, like, big time. You've got Dota 2, but I don't think it's that big time. Except for that, that one tournament. Yeah, what's up? I'm not really into it, into it, but Helldivers 2... Okay. It's pretty fun. Okay. It's nice. Like you, you just go to a planet and you fight these bugs. It's pretty they do a bit different missions. It's pretty fun. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I'm terrible at it. I've had a couple times where like I'm the last one alive and I just whip the grenade out, hold on <clears throat> to it, dive into the bugs, baby. Oh yeah. I think something that makes first-person shooters just, like, very accessible and fun is, like, a lot of, like, the general idea of it is pretty much the same across all of them, and it's very easy to understand. You get a gun, you shoot these things in the head, and they die. And that, that's what you're trying to do. Versus, like, League of Legends, and obviously each game has its own little nuances with the guns and stuff, but it's really easy to understand the general premise of it. It's like you've, you know, you've played something like that before. But it's like something with League of Legends, right? It's like you gotta come in and there's like 160 plus champions. And they're all, you know, pretty unique. So you gotta understand all of that. You gotta work as a team 5v5. You gotta understand, you know, if you're really trying to get good, stuff like macro and rotations and timings. And, and then there's all these items and the game's constantly changing, like, League's one of the most difficult games, I think. Like, I wouldn't recommend it to a noob. If I had a friend that's like, hey, man, I heard you play League of Legends. Should I play that? I'd probably be like, no. <laughs> Not unless, you know, they were a hardcore gamer. Um, like, it is a cool game, but it's not something where you can play, like, an hour after work or something and just chill with somebody. Do what? Oh. Oh. Oh, you're good. Um, so that, I think that's just difficult for a lot of MOBAs also. 
So it's like, yeah, if you're looking for a cash grab, you, or you're just looking for a quick game that's going to make some money, like shooters. For multiplayer. Single player, probably just action RPGs. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Kha'Zix is kind of just like a farm champ early, I think, but I don't know. Yeah, it feels like people just don't get punished enough for overextending and doing dumb shit. Yep. That's how it goes. Okay, I don't know where Karthus is. Okay, this is definitely Locket. Mercs. Okay. Well, hopefully this volley shows us something good. Please don't get killed. Okay, is he actually bottom? Is he pathing away from Cossacks? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know where the fuck he is. What is it? He's just clearing his camp and starting over? He's just gonna give Cossacks both crabs? That's that's strategy. Okay, there he is. He's just late. Okay, Kazakh's already got it. Nice. Kazakh's gonna go invade him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Volley was supposedly OP a couple of patches ago. They nerfed him, but I don't... Jump! God damn it. Woo! Oh my god, don't let him go invisible and kill me. Please, Jesus. Oh god, I knew it was going to happen. But there's nothing I could have done about it. I'm pretty sure I didn't have my W. It's gonna die anyways. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was gonna die. It's possible I'm able to walk out. Caitlyn doesn't have heal. I'm pretty sure I was dead. What do you think, chat? Was that dead there? Pretty sure I was gonna die. So I figured I might as well chip in and make sure that Shaco's dead. I think Jin, Jin rooted me with the W, right? I should have anticipated he was going to flash W, and then um, I should have flashed his W if I was really playing at, like, a high level. The fuck? How's that fool getting objectives? Okay, we need to push this up. He should be fine, I think. Uh, I'm going to stay here so someone gets XP. I don't do any damage anyways. What's that wave doing? Is that it's pushing out towards us? It's about even. Shaco's <clears throat> gonna try to invisible me here, probably.
Azir and who? Uh, oh. Oh, that's funny. They're talking shit because they're both Sharima. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love those little interactions. Keeps it, keeps it fresh. Now, yeah, obviously, Zion Rakan will talk a lot if you have them. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my God! It got both of us. I guess at least we got an exhaust. I thought it was gonna already trigger. Okay. Yeah, he was, I guess he thought there was going to be a fight to the death bottom. Yeah, thanks, Butter. Yeah, I made the worst of kind of a bad situation. If I had my potion ticking the whole time, I didn't, I like waited a couple of seconds, maybe I could have survived the ignite. But I think, obviously, the real play is W, anticipate he's going to flash it. Then after he flashes it, I flash his W, and then ignite. Right, that was, that was like the master's play. Sorry, what do you say, Jason? I zoned out. <laughs> okay. Might have been Zerath, MIA. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. We're not that far ahead. I just, I just really don't like Caitlyn's on my team. This Caitlyn's doing all right. She's not a bad player for this Elo, but it's like... She just just doesn't exploit the range enough. It's like I would much rather. I'm not even a huge fan of Ash, but if you're gonna play something long range, I'd rather see something like Ash. I probably need to go up there for grubs. Okay. Nice. Oh, I didn't even notice you were coming down. Shit. My bad. I was so low. Get wrecked. Oh my god! Seriously? <laughs> Fuck! I dodged all that shit. And then Karthus just R's me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Locket, of course. It is Locket Redemption type of game. I I don't know. I maybe could have come in earlier. I just didn't see you coming in. I was at like 200 health, but I probably still could have done something. Yeah, it ended up being okay, but I should I should have at least looked. Actually, I think it was a two or three. And noticed. I died. I died. This is a three for three. They lost Shaco, Karthus, and I. No, I guess Jin Jin lived. Yeah, but it's whatever. It's all right. It's kind of a bad situation. We were getting ganked, and I was getting shanked. It could have been either. Well, we probably could have just walked out, but it's fine. They used a like, lot of shit. Dude. Uh, no. Yeah, good. <laughs> I think they're very good if they get all of them. All right, well, they got all of them. Yeah. I mean, we're really far ahead, so... Obviously, if they're really not pushing your towers... Gotta wait, okay.
with less income, how do you justify buying expensive boots? They have a lot of AP and a lot of CC. I mean, you just gotta do it. It's like 200 less gold, but... I mean, I still think Mercury Treads are extremely good on Recon a lot of the time. There's a lot of magic damage out there. And, um... You know, CC is one of the main ways you die. So I don't know, maybe it's possible. I'd... I'm just supposed to go Ionians. Um... Plus Locket or something rush, but... I think it's still worth... Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay. I guess that's alright. God, Shaco does like no damage. <clears throat> I don't know if he's going to back or not. Nope. Nice. <laughs> Got him! I just walked up, that's all. Yep. That's good enough, man. All about those rotations. I like you can have that solo tower. <clears throat> the is it just bubble or is it slay? Do you guys know? I mean I slay got nerfed, but I don't know. I didn't do my research on what top recons are doing right now, but I think especially against Karthus, like, blocking that damage seems... Well, shit, you have to CC him to block it, don't you? No, it is. He, it's the CCs on the Slay. Okay, yeah, so just being able to shield a Karthus ult for an extra 140, or whatever the number is, pretty big. Could have locked it earlier and maybe killed the Kha'Zix. He's gonna get kited and die. Yeah, I was kind of dumb without a wave. I should have just waited, probably. Come here. I can heal you. I think you're good anyways, but... So many globals. I don't have shield. Okay. Karthus got malignance instead of Leandri so far. Okay. I mean, that's probably why you guys didn't die there. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, I'll have Locket and Redemption, but Zonia's third's probably good. a fake. Just no one else was there. It's unfortunate. Oh my god, the fucking boxes! Holy shit. Yeah, it was just a weird angle. And I didn't see what Kha'Zix and Caitlyn were doing. It was like if you're able to push them, I guess you couldn't get the angle to like push them back towards me. Yeah. I was trying to push him into the tower. Oh, okay. You had your tower up. Yeah. I don't know. That was weird. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those that looked good, but I guess everybody just wasn't on the page for it. I didn't see exactly where Kha'Zix was. I thought he was he was near me in the bush, but I guess he just wasn't looking. That's one of those we just got to ping it like a million times, I think, until they figure it out. Jesus. Alright. I'm gonna have to get... Oh, do I have to get heal cut again? I feel like I keep needing to get heal cut, but... That's damage, but that doesn't... Heal that much. It's only 8% healing. I don't know. I'm just gonna get redemption, I guess. It feels like I really want heal cut for almost everything. But... In reality, usually, if you just look at it, it doesn't do that much damage, or reduce that much damage. Yeah, it just, I mean, you see right there, it just felt so hard to kill the Trundle. But I think that was more of a product of just not doing any damage. Shaco's gonna go right there. All right, let's see if we can get this thing. Do we not get it? No, kill this thing. Oh my god, please. Kill this fucking crab so I can clear the wards. Another ward on here? I couldn't. The angle on Baron is obnoxious. Yeah, it's in the corner there. Fuck. I didn't see it. No, 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 no.
Mm. I mean, we could have just traded Baron for this. Please tell me that idiot dies for flashing after me like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, just give me it, make sure I get that five gold. <laughs> Trundle with Aron's not dying. I mean, that's true. Yeah, I forgot. He does take a lot of the stats. He heals for a ton off his R2, right? I think I might... Well... It might be more worthless than just a third Kindle gem, because I think this game's going to end before I complete a third item. Alright, well. Can he steal this? Oh In theory, he could. I, he can't smite while he's dead. But he can cue it. Yeah, uh, he definitely could, but Kha'Zix should have been able to get it with Smite, unless he wasted his Smite somehow. <laughs> the fucking Jin, Zareth, and Karthus. Those ults. What is this buff even on me? Oh, Baron. It's just the graphic is glitched. <laughs> yeah, it's Baron buff. That's what I was asking too, I think. Have any? All right, I guess I'll just get another Kindle gem. Let's try to get Knight's Vow. I don't know, cause the heal cuts only for Trundle. I feel like in a team fight, we should be able to just delete Trundle anyways. He's not gonna group probably. Kind of dumb. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was really dumb. <sighs> I just gave him several shutdowns and dragon. I should have just, I think throwing the redemption on it to make sure he gets that kill is fine, but then we should have just pushed the tower while he distracted him. We probably could have gotten the tower off of his end. <clears throat> that bush when nobody's showing. Really? Alright. What? Is that for somebody else? That they really think they're going to kill me there? I guess it's for bottom. trying to come up there. Oh, they... What the fuck? They did have it warded? Wait, why did I explode in fire? Does it give sh the shards come out? I think they do. With, if someone dies on the fire map, okay. Yeah, his W he does heal, but I mean it reduces that healing too. I didn't realize it was literally four or five up there. I guess I should have just let you go. Oh, I know I lose the shards, but I didn't know if they all spilled all over the ground. Is that just you losing them, or do they get to pick them up? I guess it's just you losing them. <clears throat> I guess Sonic loses rings and can pick them up. Okay. Karthus should be dead. Lighten them up. Yeah, we need to. Hey, can you help me kill this thing? Okay, and Karthus wasted his ult for that.
Yeah, we kill him. He's gonna come face check this. God, we just cannot, I don't know how we can't get to him. Kha'Zix just fucked that up real bad. Like, he should have been able to flank and kill the Karthus. Trundle just maybe wins the game here. <clears throat> well, Volley just fucking entered into their base, and that was the beginning of the end. Man. He was like 13 and 5. Okay, Volley's just fucking garbage ass. Like, 13 and 5 and can't solo the other champ. Man, that's rough. That's real rough. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, man. I'm sorry. Sorry to let you down tonight. I feel like I played okay that game. But, we'll just figure out some way to convert sometime soon but uh anyways all right man well i'll catch you next time hopefully you keep it rolling in the other games without me and then we can <laughs> and then we can get rolling tomorrow Sounds good. I'll catch you. all right man see it yeah it feels like those games like it should have won it feels like they just were not playing well the enemy team but we just could not i just got caught up in stupid shit like that's my biggest weakness if i Start moving into a lower elo bracket. I just too easily get baited into stuff. Because in the higher brackets, like, <clears throat> if someone's doing stuff, it's more likely that it's going to be the correct play. But in the lower bracket, I feel like you've got to say no to a lot of stuff that other people are doing. you got to say yes to stuff you're doing. I feel like you have to be more proactive, make more plays, ping more, communicate more. Um, but you got to say no to a lot of stuff they're doing. <clears throat> but anyways, okay. Well, that's going to be it. Thank you all very much. Um, sorry we didn't get the win, but I think they were, for the most part, pretty interesting games. That second one was pretty rough. The other ones were at least close. Um, but anyways, have a good one. Be sure to check out the support tier list if you're interested in that. I did release that earlier today. And I'll keep